<coughs> okay, so if you have to weave in an end on any of your projects that have chains and double crochets or triple crochets around the outside or even if it's a straight you know pattern that goes straight across and it has like a lattice look to it and you don't know what to do with this end right here you don't want to weave it into the chains because you want to be able to work with those after you've weaved it in so you're going to thread your yarn on the needle again and go to the back of your work and it's what you're going to do is find out which stitch that the end that the tail is at the end of which mine is right here so what we're going to do is we're going to work into this double crochet weaving back and forth and underneath the work to the center and then pull it, but you don't want to pull it tight. And you may even want to stretch it a little bit once you have it in there. Okay? And then you'll don't go back into the same place you just came into. Go into a different spot. Just move some of the thread over and go right back up through that double crochet again. You see that? I need a new camera. <laughs> so, and then you'll pull it right back through, and it does not mess up that double crochet at all. You cut it, which I'm having problems with. Okay, throw that aside. And stretch it just a little bit so it disappears, and you can't see it on this side. You see, you can't see it. And then you turn it over. That's where my tail was. And you can't see it. So that's how you weave in the ends on anything that has chains and double crochets or treble crochets around the outside. Or if it's a blanket, say you made a blanket that has a lattice look to it with double crochets and chains or V stitches and chains. And you don't have any place to weave the end in, you'll just go through a double crochet lengthwise towards the center and then back out to secure it and then cut it off.